CATSIM Technologies update on Revit 2014. Today at this broadcast we are going to tell you about the new description set tool in Revit 2014. I mean Revit has done a wonderful job in ca case of updating new tools and enhancements in much awaited Revit software. It has a new packaging in fact. Let's start with it. You can see a building model over here and here we, we are going to use the description set. Let me explain you what description set do in a building model. Description set is basically a tool that, bas that explodes the view component and let the inner component get visible more for detailing. These are view specific tools let us start with one of the exercise over here you can see a model of a residence uh, displacement set to start with displacement set I am changing the view of the model I'm selecting the element by the window selection method over here I can see the modify multi select contextual tab here I can see that in this tab there are uh, tools that are related to you know the selection here the new tool is displace elements has been introduced in the view panel let's choose the tool if you choose the tool uh, the modified displacement set contextual tab is displayed and you can see the panel over here it has three tools edit reset and path now what happens exactly when uh, you uh, be in this mode come into the view control bar you can see my cursor moving over here uh, here in fact you can see the highlight displacement set what it does it it highlights the displacement sets now once you click on the displacement sets it's a one element there is basically you can see I've changed the view to a home view. a uh, tripod is displayed with three axes over here I'm going to move this tripod up you can see all together my building set is moving and now I can see the objects inside the ground floor so this is basically facilitating me to see beyond the building that is inside of the building so now let's see how it basically other things if you want to edit the set you can choose the edit button from the displacement set you can remove let's suppose in this case I'm planning to remove the railing from it and now you can see the railing has just come to the previous position over here on removing it so if you want to add something you can add you know elements to the displacement sets and it will move with the displacement set now finish now what happens exactly in your view you can see the elements moved over here and you can rule out some lines over here how do I rule out the lines select the objects now you can see the path click on the object you can see the ruler path it shows basically from where the object has been displaced and which point of displacement is there that's the fun of the exploded views in Revit, you know. Uh, okay. Now you can see, uh, let me change the view to hidden lines. Now you can see properly how these lines are generated. Select the object, go to the path, and see. That's the fun. Now it shows completely how displacement is made from the initial point to the final point. So I, I am choosing again this button, this closes it. And now if I want to reset it, I will say, reset so that's all about the displacement set thank you hope you have enjoyed this video and we are going to put a podcast in this channel with new updates in revit 2014 have fun with revit thank you